Alrighty, hey, what's up everybody? It's Trey Hardy here. Today, I haven't been here in like 20 years. We were at Dollywood. It's a theme park located in Tennessee. Just walked in, so uh, let's go have a great time. Alright, so we're officially in the theme park. Palace Theater. Oh, this is such a lovely view. But first, I gotta get me something to eat. Okay, before we get this epic adventure on the road, gotta get something to eat. So she's got the chicken salad. I got the bacon cheeseburger with the chili cheese fries and the Coke. So let me fuel up and then we'll be on the way. Oh yeah. That's a classic beauty right there. We got one over here. And there's one over there. That's a beauty right there. I would low key get one of these and ride through the hood. Oh yeah. Stop moving while you're still grooving. Remain seated and help get oh. in the way. I suck at driving. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I suck at driving. Hell no. Thought I'm getting in trouble for recording. Guess they don't mind it. That's what's up. There's my mother. Oh, uh, that's a nice little smooth ride. Oh, is a train? We gotta ride the train. Uh, trying to drive. Uh. Okay, we're coming up on the exit. Alrighty, good old carousel ride. <laughs> yeah. You ain't a real G until you ride the carousel. <laughs> yeah, I'm 31 years old on the carousel. I don't care what no one says. Hey ma'am, he's got to stay on the animal. Whee! That's old school right there, that big old parachute. If you guys have any fun, let me hear you say yeehaw. 
Yeehaw! Please be louder than that if you guys already follow me or say yeehaw. Yeehaw! That's much better. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Right. I've been wearing an actual horse in forever. Oh yeah. And the world becomes a fantasy, 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 and the sky is a shade and the world becomes a fantasy, and the world becomes a fantasy, you're asleep in the sand, and the world becomes a shade away, because you're just a dead man walking, looking at your only option, but you can flip the switch and brighten. Your darkest day, sun is up and the colors blind. Oh, Take the road and redefine it. To be behind your narrow mind, you'll never be the same. I'm alive. Yeah, 
Exhibit of non releasables, some uh, bald eagles up there. We got some more eagles. The American symbol, the bald eagle. Well, uh, there's a nice little show that's about to come on, so I'm gonna go watch. Ladies and gentlemen, the birds you'll see in today's show 
have been deemed not releasable and are incapable of surviving the world due to permanent disabilities. But do not be fooled, they are still predators. Many have the power to crush the skull and the brain. They're strong, they're fast, they're intimidating, but most of all, they're there. There. Welcome you to Wings of America. Here at the AEF, we have given our resident raptors a second chance at life. Our team cares for them daily. We are to their lives with activities, exercise, plenty of sunshine. Some of the AEF's most well-trained birds are here with us today at Wings of America, acting as educational ambassadors for their species. Next to the theater, you'll see Eagle Mountain Sanctuary, the largest eagle aviary in America. All of the eagles living here are physically disabled and can't survive in the wild on their own. But many of them hatch and raise eaglets every spring, which you can watch live on our website. When the eaglets are old enough, we get to release them into the wild to help repopulate bald eagles. At this time, please take your seats and place all food and items that look like food completely out of sight. Our birds are trained to fly to food and can be very curious creatures. Throughout the entire duration of the show, we ask that you please keep the aisleways clear of all items. Remain seated and refrain from raising your arms up or out. We'd also like you to take out your phones and search for the American Eagle Foundation on Instagram and Facebook. When you post those awesome photos and videos from the show today, tag us so we can hear all about your experience. And don't forget to follow us. We're always posting fun and educational content, and we'd love to take you along in all of our adventures. You can also learn more by visiting our website, eagles.org, where any of the birds you see today can be sponsored through our adoption program. We thank you for joining us today and hope you enjoy the show. Please give a warm welcome to the host of Wings of America. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you have to exit the theater, please wait until we are back here up on stage with our birds, and then you can exit the theater safely then. A lot of our birds can get spooked if people stand up or walk too close to them. And guys, it's not a fun day for me when I have to chase after a bird throughout Dollywood. It's just no fun. All right, everybody go those three rules. All right, cool, all right. So, with all those rules though, we do just want to go ahead and say though that our birds are very well-trained birds and we are very proud of them. Most of the time anyway. So however though, our birds are not going to be potty trained. So, <clears throat> accidents can probably will end up happening in the theater today. So if our birds decide that they wish to fly up into our rafters, don't do what a lot of you just did and look up with your mouth open. Because that's not going to be for you guys to see the dollar falling from the ceiling. Alright, is everybody good with that? Alright, so who's ready to see some awesome birds today? It's recording. Wow. You can't show them. Alright guys, I know we can do better than that. So on the count of three, I want to hear y'all Vegas. Rootness to this Tennessee and yee-haw. Okay? One, two, and three. Yee-haw. Before this, her tail was an all brown color, kind of like her wings there. And you guys are never going to see another red tail hawk that looks exactly like Miss Jessie because each one in their pattern is unique to them. It's almost kind of like our fingerprints, the way that it works. So we do like to tell Jessie that she is a one of a kind. And also, the term Hawkeye definitely applies to Jessie. Because if she could read, but you know, she can't because she is a bird. But if she could, she could read the headlines from a newspaper from over a mile away. Now they have this really great eyesight to be able to catch all their favorite foods. So did you guys know that a mama mouse can have up to 200 babies in just a single year? That's a lot of babies. That's not even including the grandbabies that can be born as well. So you can imagine how without a vertebrate like Jesse catching and eating maybe one or two of those mice every single day of her life, our world will become quickly overrun. How about the first hawk's back? In fact, it's not uncommon to see two or even three hairs hawks stacked on top of each other out in those deserts. And this is also an adaptation that helps make sure everybody in their family unit has a place to sit and watch and relax in between those hunting parties. So these birds are really well adapted to survive in the desert environments, but the deserts are changing. So advances in our technology are allowing us to move out and even industrialize areas that were once thought uninhabitable. And this means that in a lot of areas, the desert scrublands are having to give way to those well-manicured lawns of suburbia. And you have just purchased... Buster was found on the side of the road and was brought into our rehab facility. So Buster came in with some head trauma and a detached retina inside of his left eye. Now that was causing him a lot of pain. So the vets at UT decided it's a good idea just to go ahead and remove that eye for him. You guys don't have to worry about him because he is living his best life here with us, getting free food, free health care, and free housekeeping. It's like, what else could you ask for, right? But if something like this ever happens to you, and you accidentally hit a bird of prey, we want to highly encourage you to help that bird out. The only thing is, even though Buster here is incredibly tiny. Well, I would like you all to meet America, our 34-year-old male bald eagle. Now, America came to us when he was very young, after he'd been shot in his left wing. Unfortunately, this wound, very majestic, <laughs> has left him unable to fly, which is why we take care of him and spoil him, and he serves as an educational ambassador for his species. But you might be wondering, why do we call these birds bald? I mean, he clearly has feathers on his head, right? So white. Well, bald actually comes from an old English term that simply means white-headed and does not refer to a lack of feathers or hair. Now, the story of the bald eagle in America is one of tragedy, but also, thankfully, one of triumph. 
So in the late 1960s and 70s, the fall eagle found themselves on the brink of extinction. And this was due to factors like toxins in the environment, use of the agricultural pesticide DDT, habitat loss, and illegal shootings. And even though there's been our nation symbol since 1782, their app looked pretty grim. Looked pretty grim. But since they are our nation symbol, it actually sparked a conservation movement. And these efforts included the establishment of the Endangered Species Act in 1972. And this law provided protection for threatened animals, including our bald eagles. Now, other conservation efforts included environmental cleanup campaigns, legislation against the use of DDT, and reintroduction programs like our own breeding and release program right here at Dollywood. So over to my left in Eagle Mountain Sanctuary, we actually house an additional 25 bald eagles. Unfortunately, all of these eagles came to us with life-threatening injuries and cannot be released into the wild. Now this number also includes a mated pair named Honor and Braveheart. And every year, our organization has eagles that lay eggs, raise chicks, and when those chicks are old enough, we'll, we'll release them back into the wild. And we're excited to say that over our long history, we have now rehabilitated and released, or bred and released, over 300 bald eagles right back here into the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains. Okay, time for some dinner. I got the chicken tenders and fries and we got the pulled pork and fries. So I'm gonna eat and watch maybe one or two more shows and then that'll be it for today. Hey, welcome to the Valley Theater. We're glad to have you with us. Thank you for sharing your time with us. As we go along, we'll tell you who all these folks are up here so you know who you're looking at. The young lady just started singing, winter's come and gone, and it feels like it is out there, doesn't it? Another, another summer day. Right here in this land, it's, y'all see this? I'm, uh, I'm <coughs> out here. It, it feels a little bit like October. Real nice, that's for me, I don't know. Yeah. You're having a great day. I'm having a but it is dry. It ain't sticky, is it? Really? I mean, Unless you're from Arizona and know better, I mean, you know. Never, never mind me, Jerry. Just checking on the people. There you go. This young lady playing the fiddle is in her 18th season here at the park. She came here from Cincinnati, Ohio all those years ago. She's been in all the shows around here, and this is her ninth season now with a string band. How about a big hand for Ashley Bradley? Base, all the way from Jolo, West Virginia. Grew up in the family bluegrass atmosphere. She played the family band, had her own band, traveled all around the everywhere that you can think of. And Jolo. She does a great job. Knows her way through a good bluegrass song. You're about to hear that right now. How about a big hand for Becky Wick?
All right, everybody, it's uh, Trey Hardy here. I'm exhausted. It's the end of the line. We didn't get to do everything, but there's always next time. But uh, it was nice to share this amazing adventure with you all. So uh, until next time, peace.